I'm here in Medjugorje next to Apparition Hill and I'm with what's your name? Katharina. Katharina, where are you from? From India, Delhi. Delhi. Yes. Wow, you came from Delhi here? Yeah? Yes. And how is the experience to be here now? It has been fabulous. So beautiful. I I really plan I will come back again. Yeah? Yes. Why? Because the experience, I have felt peace. And I went for a day trip around over here today, but something was calling me back, like, come back. Mm -hmm. You need to go up again before you leave. The, so, the Apparition Hill. Apparition now. Hill, yes. Uh -huh. So three days I've been here, and I want to go every day back up over there. So. It's been a phenomenal experience for me. And what is it so special for you about Apparition that, it, that you're drawn back up? I think it's the calling of Mother Mary that she tells me to come back to her and pray to her and ask her for prayers, not only for myself, but for the whole world. Yes. So every time I go up over there, I pray for everybody, actually, the whole world, any person that I think of. I think because we need a lot of prayers right now in the world. And I think I have come at the time when we need that prayers. I think it's the reason why I have come here. I think so too, you know. And you have these kind eyes, you know, in Medjugorje there's a saying, you can see Our Lady in the eyes of the people. They have this kindness and, and peacefulness, you know. Thank and you. And I think we all should pray for peace. You yes. Know? Very important, especially yes. here, you know. Yes. And you have always been Catholic? Yes, born, raised Catholic. Catholic. And what yes. is the beauty for you about the Catholic faith? I feel so blessed that I have a family that has raised me as a Catholic mm -hmm. and I have been close to Mother Mary, to Jesus. Mm -hmm. And the miracles that my family have received and we are still receiving is itself so incredible. Can you tell, for example, something? Um, America, for a very, uh, I mean, a very big thing, my brother-in-law also mm -hmm. has a slight health condition mm -hmm. and uh, he's a non-Catholic mm -hmm. when, uh, when he got married. Now he has had such beautiful experiences. He has had encounters with Saint Charbel, yeah, Saint Michael, Charbel. yes. Uh -huh. Michael the Archangel, uh -huh. Jesus came, touched him and uh -huh. made the sign of the cross on his forehead. Yes. I believe. Yes. And he's had such beautiful experiences and healing has been taking place in him. <laughs> so it's absolutely beautiful. So there was a time when his blood pressure was so extremely high mm -hmm. and nobody knew what to do. He was in ICU mm -hmm. and in the night Jesus came and just made the sign of the cross and the next morning he was perfect even his oxygen was low mm -hmm. he was on uh, the tubes, tubes yes and in the morning we came to visit him he was perfect so he is receiving his healing and his faith is growing all because of prayers he was a person who would not pray mm -hmm. and now he prays the rosary every day he prays Saint Charbel wow. it's it's wonderful my family Every day is a wonderful experience. We've been saved so many times from everything. Yes. So, yes. Amazing. And you pray the rosary every day? Yes. As what a family is it for as you? Well. As a family? Yes. With your husband, children? Uh, no, no husband, nobody uh -huh. right now. But praying for, hopefully, someday when God blesses me with whatever is his plan. Amen. I think this is the secret, you know, if you pray, what is thy will be done? Yes. You often don't do that and we end up in, in messy situations, no? Yes. You make the same experience? Yes. So same that's why yes. now I have given everything up to him. Mm -hmm. It's his decision, his call, whatever he says. Absolutely. And not mine, but his plan. I hope that his plan works for my family and everybody that I meet. Mm -hmm. And I think I've met such wonderful people over here. It's really, really very nice. Mm -hmm. And you have a favorite spot in Medjugorje? Okay. It must be Apparition Hill, no? It has been actually the Apparition yeah. Hill. When I go over there, there is a peace that mm -hmm. I find and I just sit and pray. I, I've been, the first day I came, I sat down for three hours and I did not even realize it was three hours yeah. that passed by. Just bathing, you know, in the presence. Right? Yes, it, it's tiring when you walk up, but I was so, I caught my breath so fast. Mm -hmm. I was surprised because first it's it was my first time walking up mm -hmm. like I don't do any kind of hiking or workout or anything but it's been it was so nice mm -hmm. and I'm so happy that I was able to come wow. and you went to confession here yes after confession I felt 
how was the experience? To it was like everything just, you know, I was so happy after that. Mm -hmm. I was super excited. And uh, I think the confession called me, mm -hmm. not me going for the confession because after mass uh, in the evening, the first day I arrived, mm -hmm. I attended mass. We said the rosary at six o'clock mm -hmm. and till we finished and I came out. I thought, okay, maybe confession is over. And then I still saw all the priests taking confession. Mm -hmm. And um, I was like, shall I go? I don't know. And so that's why the confession called me and then I went and yes. Like now, God incidents that you came? And yes, you absolutely. And, and I, I think I saw you with somebody else before, I think yesterday or the first day, Could taking be. testimonies. And uh, I was like, yeah, well, I don't Who know. Who is if that guy? I, I was like, well, I don't know if there's any testimony that I have. Uh -huh. to like you know share and so happened you just met me and you asked me about my testimony and, and what would you tell people who are scared to go to confession what would you tell them? i would like to tell them that you know it's the only place where you can let out your deepest secrets mm -hmm. and there is nobody there to judge you because jesus forgives every single person no matter what you've ever done mm -hmm. and after confession there is a peace that you feel which is there's an excitement, there's a joy, there's peace in your heart. So confession is extremely, very, very, very important. I realized that because I know I've not gone for confession so much mm -hmm. before this. But over here, it's been wonderful. Yeah. So I really would say confession is important. Wow. And you got a favorite saying? Um, well, I have been praying a lot actually of late to Saint Charbel. Mm -hmm. We've been praying a lot to Saint Charbel and um, it's been wonderful. Saint Charbel, I really pray. Padre Pio, I pray for um, for discernment to know what I must do. Mm -hmm. And I visited Padre Pio too. And these places are so peaceful that you know mm -hmm. they are not saints just for name. They are. They really make you feel uh, comfort when you pray to them. Um, you know. So yes. I do pray to a few saints when they say for St. Jude for hopeless cases mm -hmm. and, and I know for hopeless cases, yeah. I am one, I have been one. Yeah, why? And what happened uh, to you? Hopeless, hopeless case. <laughs> Tell me and, hopeless and also case. like, yeah. uh, like my brother-in-law was also like a hopeless case but now his faith is growing every day. Mm -hmm. And with me also, you know, it was so beautiful that I know before COVID, mm -hmm. I I used to pray religious, mm -hmm. like mm -hmm. my family has brought me up in that way, mm -hmm. but maybe not uh, such a good, devout Catholic mm -hmm. and, you know, maybe sometimes into bad company and things like that. Mm -hmm. But now, during COVID time, I got into praying and thanks to my family, my sister especially. Mm -hmm. So because of her, I started praying and we joined a group where we pray in tongues. Mm -hmm. And over there, we used to have wonderful experiences of uh, visions, mm -hmm. you know, and that's why I think St. Jude. And there was a priest that I met in St. Michael's Shrine in, uh, in, in Italy when I had gone up. Mm -hmm. And this priest prayed for me mm -hmm. and he prayed to St. Jude mm -hmm. because he just um, said that he saw me in a dream the day before he, he met me. Wow. Yes. And then when he met me, I went for confession. Mm -hmm. And um, then he prayed to St. Jude that, mm -hmm. you know, if it is possible that, you know, I can know who she is. Mm -hmm. And in some way he found my card and he was able to contact me. And it was because of St. Jude. So he said, I pray to St. Jude for hopeless cases. So he thought it was a hopeless case. And maybe I was also a hopeless case too, but now I'm very hopeful. I see it in your eyes. You changed, <laughs> no? Yes. You got touched by God through yes. all this yes. God incidents. Yes, no? a lot. A lot? Yes. And what would you tell people like maybe you, who feel lost, hopeless? I would say take a chance. Yeah. Really take a chance on God because we take a chance on people, on the world for some hope or therapy. Mm -hmm. But there is one therapy which is free of cost. And God says, just come to me and I will listen to you you know knock and the door will be open to you so it is really truly he says come to me and he is my father and he is a father to everybody and no how, matter what how, how can they talk they, how do they talk to god what would you tell them as a normal person like a friend like a friend yes you can talk to him like a friend if you don't feel comfortable maybe you can write on a diary 
and whatever makes you comfortable if you like to you know just write out a message write a whatsapp message to yourself and say that that is to god yeah. that's the best way you know whatever is comfortable for you as you speak with your friend or to whomsoever you find comfort in he's the biggest comfort person absolutely and his gift the holy spirit is the comfort absolutely the holy spirit always leads and um, you is feel always it in there your life like inspiration to yes. you inspiration that to go yes. what to do yes absolutely so even even to come over here i came by bus mm -hmm. and uh, there was a schedule that i saw but Mechigore was not mentioned over there and I kept waiting and waiting and it was almost time for me to leave mm -hmm. and I was only asking like you know for some guidance how do I reach because there was no name for Mechigore to get onto the bus and it was uh, almost 19 hours bus journey if I would have missed it it would have been really <laughs> mm -hmm. not so nice and I said then the Holy Spirit led me and I asked the correct bus driver and I asked like you know and I showed the ticket and he said yes this is the bus so it was the holy spirit who led me it was the evil one who tried to not let me come yes. but the holy spirit really led me and asked the right person and i got into the bus and i was and now i'm here now you're here now i'm and here. so happy no yes I'm and at the end what would you tell people why come to metagoya i was told by another priest that wherever you go and if you want to find peace you will find your peace over here mm -hmm. so this is the place if you want to look for an answer to have a change in life our lady is over here she is waiting thank you so much for that beautiful interview thank you very much